Hello. <clears throat> Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to talk about what we're going to be reading this June, this month, which is, which is June. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Jessica. I'm Christina. And you're watching Game, Game of, of Tomes. Tomes. This month of June. <laughs> okay, uh, so do we want to talk about currently reading first and then... Sure! Okay, we're both currently reading Animal Control by Travis Howe, who sent us a copy uh -huh. for review. It's a young adult, or middle grade, I should say. Yeah, I think, yeah. Mm, book. <laughs> <laughs> and it's uh, Zootopia meets the Avengers. Yeah, yeah. It, kind of it, deal. And I really like the storyline. Yeah, I did too. We're not super into the writing style. Nah, I mean, like, I'm about halfway through, and I'm like, hmm, you mm -hmm. know. Yeah. Um, uh, but you said the story gets... It gets better. Yeah. 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 Oh, so I, I like... I like the story. The story's my favorite part. Yeah, yeah, me too. And I like the way it's heading, and I do like... There's all different kinds of animals and stuff, and so it's really cool to, you know... Cool. Just have that. And I was... I'm not gonna say that. Okay. What were you gonna say? I was gonna say, like, oh, it has a bunch of different, like, species of animals, but there's no, like, prejudice in it. <laughs> but I don't think I should say that. No, I think there is, um, like, in Zootopia, they do have, co there, there they is do a commentary on, that, yeah. on racism. Yeah. Which I think, um, I, maybe I'm just transferring those feelings onto this. I haven't necessarily felt that way yet, just because I haven't felt any discrimination against any specific animal. Yeah, I get you. You know? Right. So anyway, we're reading Animal Control. I'm really hoping to finish it this month. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's cute. Okay. <clears throat> um, let's talk about our book club book. Yes. Okay, we're gonna be reading Nevernight by Jay Kristoff. Yeah, we are. This is our only, our first time reading a Jay Kristoff book by himself. Yeah. We read Illuminae series. Mm-hmm. Themis Files. That's not what that is. No, that's a different I say series. that every time. It's the Illuminae series. It's the Illuminae series. We read that. He co-wrote with Amy Kaufman. Yes. But I'm excited to see, like, his own writing style. Mm -hmm. And this know? is a an adult yeah. fantasy. I don't, I'm not sure what it's about. I don't remember. Something about assassins? Yeah. Okay. Uh, the fan art looks really cool. It does. Looks really cool. It really does. <laughs> so I'm really excited for it and Me I've too. heard a lot of people are really into it mm -hmm. so. That's for our In Real Life Book Club yep. book. It was suggested um, and voted for mm -hmm. by what? Megan. <laughs> Megan at Tome Infinity. <laughs> she was the one that suggested the book and Yay. we all voted on it, so. Yeah. Cool. That was the winner. Yeah. Um, I am also currently reading Descender Volume 4 and I plan on finishing that series. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right? With 5 and 6 this month. Loving it. Loving it. Loving it. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah. So this story follows this little robot named Tim21 who wakes up to find that like everyone is dead <laughs> because some giant robots they call the harvesters came and destroyed some planets this takes place in space with a kind of galactic common so there's aliens and AI and humans they all intermingle and then they decide the AIs must have brought on the harvesters so then they scrap all these AIs and Tim 21 might have something to do with the harvesters, mm -hmm. so everyone's out to get him now. <laughs> and you just kind of follow his story with a few other characters, and it's really, really good. It is really good. The, and artwork, the art style is beautiful. <sighs> yeah. Very saturated watercolors. Mm -hmm. Yes. I love it. Yeah, there's some beautiful, beautiful shots. Mm -hmm. Shots. And Pages, <laughs> cover photos, I don't know. They're really pretty, guys. Yeah, they're really pretty. Um, and I said in our wrap-up that I think this is the most I have ever gotten, or this is the most I've been into a graphic novel since Saga. I which agree, is a big deal. And, and Saga was the first graphic novel I ever found myself, like, really into. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah. I am currently listening to The Terror by Dan Simmons. It's um, kind of a chunker. <clears throat> which is cool. It is narrated by my favorite narrator, John Lee. Oh, did not he do your the favorite narrator. Kingsbridge? Yes, he series? did. Yeah. I really enjoy listening to him, and he does all the voices and accents, and he does a very good job, and I 
like listening to him. And all of his books that he narrates seem to be really long epic stories with a lot of different characters. Mm -hmm. And so I f have found books that I really enjoy just by looking up the ones he's read. Right. That's cool. Yes. This story takes place in the 1800s when they're trying to get a trade route from Europe to Asia through the Arctic. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's very hard to pass through there because it freezes up yeah. and, and they have to get through the ice on a ship and they've been stuck there for years now and there's also like some sort of something out there that's Ooh. been killing people and yeah. we don't know what that is yet. Yeah, it's very mysterious and I think they're gonna have to abandon the ship eventually yeah. once they run out of provisions. And there's also an Inuit woman. She's the only woman in the story. Wow. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is like 18 something. Right. Now, right. Yeah. She on the ship. Mm -hmm. and she's like a witch, and she's had her tongue chewed out. So I don't know what's up with her yet. That sounds kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do like the story so far, so. Cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you like him. Old British narrators are not my style. You know what? Style. In Kingsbridge series, he was British because that's what the story called for. Yeah. The next story I read, which was um, a sci-fi book, he had an American accent. Oh, cool. Um... I thought he was British because he does it so well. Yeah. And then I he does American accent so well, so I don't know. I don't know. Interesting. Versatile. Yes. Good. And he does... There are different nationalities, so he has accents from yeah. all over, and he does a really good job. Cool. Awesome. Yeah. I gravitate towards female narrators, so... Meh. Uh-huh. Speaking of female narrators... Okay. I'm listening to Daisy Jones in the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Jessica yeah, just finished it. Yeah. I'm already like three hours into it, I think, and it's only like nine hours, mm -hmm. but I'm loving it. Yes. It is so good, and it's a full cast, and it's like an interview style. You have a lady writing a book about it, and then you have the characters from the band and things voicing, like, whatever they say. <laughs> anyway, it's really good. <laughs> it follows this band called The Six. And also this lady, Daisy Jones, and how they get together and create music and just that whole lifestyle and... Lots of drugs. Lots of drugs. Yeah. A lot of drug use. A lot of drug use, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and I'm only three hours into it, but yeah, lots of drug use. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm loving it. It's great. Um, I was totally into it, and I consumed it very quickly. Yeah, yeah. I can definitely see that, because I started it literally at like 6 o'clock yesterday. Mm -hmm. And I was like... I'm gonna listen to this forever. Yeah. <laughs> but it's so short. It's only nine hours. I know, but it is so good. And we loved her other book, The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. Yes. Um, and that's one thing that I loved about The Seven Husbands was her character writing. Yeah. Uh, and this one is definitely living up to that. Right. Not, like, as in-depth, because I feel like there are there kind a lot of more of... characters mm -hmm. this time around. I agree. Yeah. I think maybe the book could have benefited from... Um, fewer points of view, actually. Yeah, I I do find myself sometimes, like, because it is a full cast, sometimes they say their name before they start speaking, sometimes they don't, and especially the male characters, because there's, yes, like... so many of them. Five of them are males yeah. in the band, and so it's like, wait, who is this talking again? You know, and it's, like, hard to follow a little bit, and they also have, like, concierge from a hotel, and it's... And like managers and stuff, um, right? But it's I not did like, like it. I liked it because there's like when you're in a band, there's so many people and there's mm -hmm. so many ideas and perspectives. Yeah. So I did really enjoy that part. Yeah. But I think it was a little bit to the detriment of the character development of the main people. Yeah, I would agree with that. But I do. Um, it, it is kind of funny to hear them go. Oh yeah, so we came up with the six. It was kind of like a play on the sex. And then like four other band members are like, no, it wasn't. <laughs> and the one is like, we didn't even have to say it. We all just knew it. And they're like, no, it wasn't. <laughs> and, or they're like, well, I came up with it. Or I came up with it. Yes. You know? And I think that's very true right. and to the point. Yeah. I don't know. I've not been in a band. I've been in a marching band. But like, that's the same. you know, <laughs> it's not the same. it just seems very natural oh, and like sorry. really on point. I don't know. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm really enjoying it. Cool. I did too. Um, I don't know if I have anything else. I think that's it for yeah. us. I'll probably, I've been thinking about picking up a graphic novel, but I will see. Yeah. I'm, I'm hoping to finish Descender. Mm -hmm. so. With graphic novels, um, I've been just whatever I feel like. Yeah, same. So, 
Same. I'll leave that open. Yeah. Okay. Because Fence was out of the blue. Yeah. I think I saw Heidi from uh, The Book Brood re read that oh, cool, recently, cool. and I was like, oh, yeah, I would like to do that. Good. Okay. Thanks, everybody, for watching our channel. We love you. When you play the game of tomes, you read or you die. Come be our friends. Social media links in the description below. And we hope you're reading a great book. Bye. Bye. Lost what felt like it all in a game. Every man I've measured out to hurt me before I could ever feel.